So everyone, please warm welcome for your moment. I've done two comedy shows in Beijing, and I think they tell an interesting story about the economy here in China and about First Amendment issues, at least as they pertain to a Westerner speaking in English. The first show, which started with some microphone problems, was at an English language bookstore called Bookworm that assured me that it was a free speech zone. Well, anyway, I uh, want to thank you all for coming out to the, uh, uh, this latest meeting of Occupy Beijing. <laughs> I am, I'm delighted to see such a strong turnout, uh, especially in light of what happened after our last meeting 22 years ago. <laughs> oh, we, we need to make sure that th this can be heard so we can all get arrested. <laughs> Uh, there are some members from the state-controlled media here, so I'm pretty sure that that joke is probably not going to make it. Uh, it is interesting to think about uh, Occupy Wall Street and Occupy Beijing, uh, given that the Chinese government appears to be totally petrified about having protests against capitalism. <laughs> so, uh, this seems like an appropriate cartoon. And of course, you do have to be careful what kind of protests you engage in here, because you might end up in a... Uh, protest with Chinese characteristics. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to tell jokes about my own government. Uh, uh, probably my best friend here is this guy, Mr. Yang, who works 14 hours a day, seven days a week at the restaurant that's near my apartment. Um, and uh, uh, like, he's not interested in talking about democracy or things like this. The other day, we were, you know, he's interested in talking about like economic interactions between the U.S. and China. Uh, and my Chinese is very bad, so we communicate with my iPhone. Uh, which has a little dictionary app on it. So the other day he was furiously like punching away at it and he finally t points this thing at me and it says, Gao Li Dai. And the translation said, loan shark. And he was like, America is a loan shark, right? Like, Gao Li Dai. And I was like, we are not a loan shark. We're like a borrowing whale. <laughs> Just like floating in a sea of our own treasury bonds. <laughs> And he looks at me and he's like, don't talk to me about treasury bonds. Right about U.S. treasury bonds. I'm like, why not? Right? And he says, you know, we're, we're pissed off about those treasury bonds, right? They're lousy. You shouldn't have sold them to us. And I said, that's funny, because we don't think you should have bought them. <laughs> just get this feeling that, like, the economic interactions between the U.S. and China are a little bit like kind of two teenagers, like, having their first sexual experience or something. <laughs> It's supposed to benefit both parties. <laughs> that was my first time doing that joke. <laughs> How did it do? <laughs> I was worried that it was just me. <laughs> it was good for us too. <laughs> Anyway, I told Mr. Yang that I was really sorry about the U.S. Treasury bonds and the next time China should invest in a safer place like Europe. I also decided to try my hand at some Q&A. What about the voodoo economics? <laughs> voodoo economics? <laughs> I'm against it. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, I assume you're talking about sort of this, like, the supply side idea, like the Laffer curve idea that if we cut taxes, then economic growth will be so strong that we'll make up the revenue. Um, it's a great idea. I wish it was true. Uh, all the evidence suggests that it's not true. I mean, there is some, there is some dynamic aspect to if you cut, if you cut taxes by, by a dollar, then your, your total revenue is going to drop by less than a dollar because there's some sort of... Uh, economic boost that comes from lower tax rates, but um, I don't think there are really any serious economists who think that, it, that, that you don't lose revenue by doing that. Uh, we have one here. And Excuse me, uh, recently Mr. Forbes stated that America would go back to the gold standard in about five years. Uh, tell me what you think about that. I would love to bet that man all of the money that I have, plus all of the money that you all have, but that's not going to happen. Well, my question is how you break up the Eurozone. <laughs> Sir, this is a comedy show. <laughs>
Tune in next time to see how well my comedy goes over with the Chinese audience of students at the University of International Business and Economics. We are honored to have Yuran Baman here to give us a lecture. Please warmly welcome.